So in terms of setting up your inputs and your outputs, this can be found in Logic Preferences Audio. Let me show you the key command to get there a little bit quicker. So go ahead and hit Command, Comma, and you'll open up your preferences. You want to go to Audio, and this is where you can find your output and input devices. Now I currently have you know a different setup because I'm capturing this, but the way you want to do it is set it up so that if you have an interface, it's connected. So I rarely ever turn on input devices unless I'm actually recording something. So if I'm not recording, let's say a microphone for an, for a singer or maybe like an acoustic guitar with a microphone or two, this is off. And the reason is, is this takes energy from your DAW. And also you can save yourself uh, the headache of like, you know, trying to find what's feedbacking and, um, yeah, do yourself a favor and just turn that off unless you're actually recording something um, externally. So that being said, where are you playing this? Are you playing this out of, um, you know, a Scarlet? Are you playing this out of a, a UAD interface? Um, or is it just you and your laptop? So if that's the case, then you want to set that up to built-in output. Okay, so that's the very first thing. I always liken this to like putting the keys in the ignition of a car. Right, you get in the car, and every single time you turn on logic, I want you to do the same thing. Command comma, output device, set yourself up depending on you know where you are, which studio you're, you're in, or you know whatever your setup is. Uh, again, that's in the main menu bar, logic, preferences, and audio.